Hello, this is Hollywood Ross. And I just want you all to hear the uh, birdie singing in the morning here in Hollywood. You got quiet suddenly. Maybe there's a hawk up in the sky. Here's a little group of birds. I hope they, I hope they read. They're flying in a little group. Maybe to elude a hawk that's up in the clouds that we don't see. Birds are very interesting creatures. Their brains are radically different from ours. Uh, who knows, maybe if there is like a global disaster, you know, and the, the mammals are wiped out, maybe it'll give the birds a chance to expand and grow and fill in all those ecological niches, including the one formerly inhabited by humans. I wonder what kind of creature you'd have. Probably something similar to uh, to the raptors. The Oba raptors and the Terra raptors. Don't you think? But they wouldn't really eat their own eggs. Just as the dinosaur Oba raptors didn't eat their own eggs. They might eat other animals' eggs, but they didn't eat their own eggs. They took very good care of their eggs. It's an ingrained birdie behavior that all birds have, and they're born with it. So, birds are definitely an interesting study. They have behavioral traits similar to insects, but also similar to mammals. So, uh, you know, I mean, nothing could be far farther from a mammal than a bird, but I'm just saying, if some bird-like creature filled our ecological niche, it would probably be, you know, a few feet tall. And, uh, you know, all the vicious strikes and scorpion like devices in their hands probably even though there's only one venomous bird in all the world and it lives in Papua New Guinea so Anyway, I guess on that little more, I've had a morning walk. I, I didn't sleep at all last night. So, uh, let me give you a brief rendition of uh, the Fifth Dimensions version of that song. And then I'll sign off. Last night, I didn't get to sleep at all. No, no, no over and out.